again everybody, Dave Thompson from the Coast Information Services Department. In this video we're going to cover how to install Microsoft 365 Office. Installing Microsoft Office for use at Coast is done through a web browser. We will open up Microsoft Edge. Any browser would be fine. Uh, Chrome, Mozilla, and we will go to the website of office.com. And once we reach office.com, we will have to sign in using our Coast credentials. We will click sign in. We will go to the Coast single sign-in page and make sure that our username is just the username and my password. <clears throat> you can opt to stay signed in or not. If you plan on uh, using the office.com website a lot, feel free to say yes. Uh, I'm just going to come in and do my install, so I'm just going to select no. Once logged into office.com, you are greeted by the page that looks similar to this. It may say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time of day. It will have all of your web-based office apps listed down the side here. Uh, some recommended or recently viewed items. But what we're looking for is right here, install office. If I select install office, I can select install office 365 apps, which will include Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more, this is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> you may, down at the bottom of your screen, have something that looks very similar to this. Would you like to, what would you like to do with this download? Would you like to run it, save it, or cancel? We would like to run. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, please. At this point, Office will begin to do its install of Microsoft 365 Office. For me, it looks like it has stopped working, but I assure you it will come back. Here we go. Once you reach this screen where it shows you the icons of the different apps and asks you to please stay online while it downloads, it may take a few minutes, so I will be right back. And we are back. Microsoft has completed its install. I get the screen, you are all set, Office is installed, fantastic. From here we can close, and we can actually close the browser if you are done browsing as well. We don't need that anymore. So at this point, Office should be installed on our computer. If we click on our Start button, we will see we again now have Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, fantastic. We will do a test here of Microsoft Word. Fantastic. When we open up Word, it may or may not, uh, up the top here, very very subtly say sign in. At this point, it is installed, but uh, it has not, this account does not have Office yet. Uh, so we need to identify that this account is appropriate for, is licensed, excuse me, is licensed for use by Coast. And we can do that uh, from a number of different ways. Right now I'm logged in with my personal email um, and I'll need to use a different account. And it will say sign in to set up office. We will need to sign in and we will sign in using our Coast credentials. And once we put in our email address, which is what it will want to activate Office. Please use your Coast email address. 
it will take us again to our single sign-on screen. We will again put in our username and our password. We will accept the license agreement. You may now again see the stay signed into all your apps and allow my organization to manage my device. Um, for both of these, please select yes. Uh, we will say okay. You will receive a two-factor authentication code, a one-time passcode. <clears throat> I receive mine through text. And if all goes well, this version of Microsoft Office will now be licensed to you. We will get confirmation in just a moment. You are all set. Fantastic. I should now see that uh, this will change soon to uh, my name, confirming that I have licensed this product. It may take a shutdown and restart, but let's see what happens here. There it goes. Just changed over. It's realized that this is now licensed to me. This product of Office 365 is now fully functioning and working and ready to go. Now the nice thing about this is we started in Word uh, and we get provided the licensing through Word. However, it licensed itself for all of the different applications. If I now want to open up PowerPoint, it will not re-ask me for licensing. It knows that it is still a Office product licensed to me. We'll start Outlook. There's a couple of extra settings that need to be done to get your email fully functioning. First, it will pull up the list of accounts that it seems to identify with you. Make sure that you select your Coast account, whether that be Orange Coast College, Golden West College, or Coastline email address, and we will connect. At this point, we will select Microsoft 365. Account successfully added, fantastic. It shows me my email address and then it asks if I want to set up a second account. At this time, I don't need to set up a second account, so I will select Done. Uh, you, there is an option to set up Office Mobile on your phone too, if you like. You can do that at this point. I will just uncheck that and continue. Done. And Outlook will proceed to pull my emails back down from the Microsoft server onto my local machine. So there you have it. That is the install process for Office 365. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the IT service desk. You can find the IT service desk at infoservices.cccd.edu. Uh, again, David Thompson, I appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.